Hello there, I am Giant Go with my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Vardovsky team. In the last part, we took on the Frosty Forest, which was Nine Forest, then we got to this midway point. And now we're gonna continue on and keep going to the into the Frosty Grotto, which is Grotto. Which is um five fours. On the fifth floor there'll be a boss fight. There's no point in me speeding this up and adding music to it because uh it's only five fours. And um this is my fourth take trying to record this and everything and be successful because I keep on dying at the boss fight so yeah that, uh, I'm just hoping I can get this time and all was good I have two revival seeds with me right now Let's see one two so and with two revival seeds I'm still not being successful and hopefully I can because I can't go back and get storage more revival seeds on my storage if I do have any I think I may have one in storage left but I could be wrong so I'm hoping I can just beat this boss so I can move on in the game so here's a dead end of course jeez i'm i just wanna i just wanna beat the boss fight bad so so badly and i have this set move a bubble but um i'll switch over to water again in a second actually so let me do that right now actually water dang it water gun set okay cool if we can find the steps that'd be great that's all i want nice proceed i don't Come on, let's just go to the second floor. Okay. And the weather, uh, snow doesn't really mean anything. It's not like it's hail. Like every five steps you take, you um, like you take damage. Like it's just there to fit the scenery, I guess, just to show that it's really cold and stuff, I guess. But other than that, it doesn't really have an effect on your, on you or your partner really. So that's good. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use water gun. Jeez, these controls. <laughs> I'm using game controller right now, but like still. No, I meant to use water gun. Kids gives me horn attack. Okay, keep in mind, keep beware of Rhyhorns, because they have horn attack and fury attack and stomp. Um, I've Cody and I have fainted in the previous takes because of those moves, and it's not fun. And I just want to get through this so badly so I can progress in the game. Like you don't even know, you guys. I mean, I've been recording this whole like same thing for um. Just use what? Let's just bubble on this thing. I've been recording this for um over an hour trying to beat this section of the game, but I'm having no success. Oh my gosh, I'm having no success. Just hit, just just hit the high horn. It's not that hard. Thank you. I'm so stressed right now. I just want to get this done. Thank you. There's the steps. On to the foil. Okay, cool. I just I just hope for the best. I'm gonna. Bubble this right one just so it's out of the way. There we go. Blue gummies are good if you're a water type because they raise your IQ. So let me just eat a blue gummy actually right now. I'm going to use go to items. Jesus. Okay. Eat. Yeah. And then I, I learned um, the IQ skill efficiency expert, which is pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what that does, to be honest, but I got it. Yeah. It's nice. Nope, there's not the stuff that's- oh man, okay, let's go up, let's go up, please, before any more Pokemon come around. Let's go left. I want to find the steps. No, this just looks like it wraps around. It's a dead end. Of course it's a dead end. One of the two I was right. Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh. There's another boot gummy. Let's use items and eat another boot gummy to raise our IQ up significantly. Yes, I know. I knew that would because I've had that happen in the previous takes, of course. That just proves how long I've been doing this section. Thank you. Okay, I'm right next to the steps. Awesome. So, um, I'm going to check my moves to make sure I have enough PP. We look good. Okay, I'm going to also switch off. I'm going to switch Brick Brick off on Cody. And I'm going to make his IQ go uh, change to um, exclusive move users and in my experiences, this means that um, he will um, just only use the one move I set. So, I excuse some of you use yes, okay, yeah. Because, um, I want him to only use Ember. Let me just double check that I have Ember only set. Okay, cool. Let's go to the fifth floor. Let's hope this is the one where we finally beat this boss fight. I don't know. Okay. We sure have come, we sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. I shouldn't, it shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Huh? Steven, did you just say something? Nah, I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. 
Turn back. We may not pass. Wait, who's there? Who's talking? Who is there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist, persist to trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. Oh, it's too bright. The ice around us is reflecting this light. Oh, now it's really bright. Gah! I am Articuno, the warder, the, the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest, I shall destroy with all my might. Let's uh, let us begin. So we have to fight Articuno, of course. Articuno is an ice and flying type. If you have if you have rock type moves by any chance, which I only think you can have rock type moves if you're a Cubone and you're in rock throw by opening up, which I don't think you a Cubone does in this game. So um yeah, rock type moves are four times effective against this uh, Articuno. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with using Bubble. Now it doesn't. Articuno, watch out for agility because it'll raise its speed, which can be deadly. And um, it knows the move Powder Snow, which hits every Pokemon on the uh, map, uh, including you and your partner. And it's super effective on you, Bulbasaur, Chikoritas, or uh, Trikos, whether it's your partner who's a, one of those grass types or yourself. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's just use Water Gun. Okay, just Ember, nice. Okay, cool. Let's use Water Gun again. No, it missed. Of course it did. Okay, yeah. Powder Snow just totally took out, um, oh, I missed on Cody, but yeah, took out myself. So I had to use the Rivalry Seed, dang it. Come on, we can do this. We can do this, Cody. Okay, let's get his agility. Yes, it missed, awesome. Let's use Water Gun. Yes, it hit, awesome. I can feel we almost have it. We almost have it, you know? I'm gonna use a um, Orin Berry on myself just because every amount of HP helps, especially with that deadly powder snow attack. So yeah, um, Ember missed, and it's usually a mist. Okay, that's not so bad. I hope not. Hope I don't regret saying that. Okay, I can feel it's almost fainted. Please, please, just like another hit or two. Okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna use another Orin Berry. Hopefully, this is near the end of this boss fight, and we only use one of I received. Okay, do I have any more orange bears? I don't think I do, but I can double check. Yes, I do. Since Articuno only means to attacking me, except for excluding when it uses powdered snow, I'm just gonna use another orange berry. Because I do not want to faint again. Because that means both my viruses are gone then. So. Let's get his agility right there, of course. I don't think I have any more uh, orange berries. So that kind of stinks. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um, I'm just gonna have to go with my gut and hopefully this Articuno is done for it almost. There we go. Thank you. That is a really hard boss fight. I never remember it being that hard in any, in any of my other playthroughs of this game. Uh, but to be fair, I was a Charmander and I just spammed Ember, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong there. Cause like, I, I'm a Squirtle this time around and I don't have Ember. Cody has Ember and I was just hoping that I could make, find a way that Ember would always hit or be used by Cody and I found that way with the exclusive move users. Yeah, there we go. Okay, please Articuno. We have to get through no matter what it takes. Please, let us pass. No, I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid f for forced air. Forced, forced air, I can't Whatever, I can't even say that right. Um, I It has warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed up? But it's still like freezing and stuff. What do you mean? The flow, of course, Cody's saying that to himself when it said it's in parentheses. But you know. The flow of the frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow has never melted before. So that means how that means like the mount this whole place would be covered in feet, beyond countless feet of snow, or countless amounts of snow, I should say. But whatever, snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. Like Gary said that this has never happened, even once. Uh, I think that's what it said. Th then you appeared in the forest. Is that is this not your doing? We we don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, hear me out. It isn't for our fault that the snow startled started melting here. It's just not. 
It's not just here. Natural calamities are taking place everywhere right now. The forest, the forest is frigid. I, I don't, I don't know if it says. I said that right. The forest's frigid air flow would have been disturbed even if we would would have been disturbed even if we had it come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Why? Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Oh no, this can't be good. Stop it! Hey, it's that Pokemon we saw earlier. In the last part. Ah, uh, Absol? There isn't no there is nothing false in what they say. Said, calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is Is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno. However. Wow. You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Cool. And he just flies off. Or it just flies off, because bunch of Pokemon are genderless. At least in the Pokemon games, of course. A uh, few, that was close. That was too close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. Groan. I sense the terrible power of nat of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of forbidding, forbodying. And you came just in time. <laughs> we about to be bird food or something. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will? Really? Really? I put, to put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let us let me lend you my powers. Sniffle, thank you, Absol. Absol, join the team. Give a nickname to Absol. Um, I'm just gonna nickname Absol Ace. He's not the Ace member of the rescue team, but he's a pretty good Ace, I guess you could say in general. So Ace, yeah, the name Ace is okay, cool. So yeah, and so after getting through the frosty forest, Stephen's team headed further north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. So yeah, that's then uh, that. So um, we're gonna continue on in the next part. So this has been Janko again. Oh, so this has been then my Pokemon Machine Dungeon Rescue Rescue Team Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on whatever lies ahead. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Machine Dungeon Red Rescue Team Walk the Guide.